Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about another application layer protocol which is called IMAP which stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. So IMAP is a protocol used to retrieve a message email message from the main server. It follows the same model as previous one uh, which means the client client server model. Uh, you have on one side you have the IMAP client like this so I have an IMAP client, which is a process running on my computer. On the other, uh, on the other side, we have an IMAP server, uh, another process running on another computer. Uh, and the two computers here connect through a network. Should be reachable across network, not necessarily on the same LAN. They can be on different LANs. Now IMAP, uh, IMAP client, IMAP protocol relies on uh, on TCP/IP as the transport layer relies on TCP IP protocol at the transport layer, which means that implicitly it's going to use the uh, reliability, reliability of the TCP protocol. And uh, once TCP connection is established, you will have something like this. Uh, there is a this is a connection, let's say, between an IMAP uh, client and IMAP server. IMAP server is, also, is always listening at port 143 by default. Of course, you can change this port if you want later on. And the IMAP client is going to open a port. Uh, the number will be chosen by the operating system, let's say port 50,000. So on the client side, you have port 50,000, from where the client is going to receive replies. On, on the port on the IMAP server, you have port one, 143, uh, from which the IMAP server will receive comments from the client. So now, whenever the uh, client wants to retrieve a message on the main server assume here there is a message on your mailbox okay and then you want to use the IMAP uh, protocol to retrieve that message you simply have to connect to port 143 where the IMAP server is listening then you send a comment you will send comment basically you want to see how many messages you have and uh, the IMAP server will send you a response IMAP response which consists of uh, email headers Okay, e email headers. Now from your computer, you will receive these email headers and if you are interested to read a particular email message, uh, you just download it from the main server. You just request it from the main server. Uh, the main difference between, uh, if we compare between uh, IMAP and uh, the POP3 protocol. So in POP3 protocol, what happens? Uh, the message will be fully downloaded from uh, the main server from the mailbox so you have a full download in IMAP you have only the uh, email headers which will be downloaded from the main server and then if the client is interested to read particular message you just need to request that message based on the header and then the message will be downloaded so on the IMAP server it will you will always have a copy of the message which will be left so always a copy of the message will, will, stay, will be stored in IMAP server. Uh, other, in the other hand, POP3, if you use POP3 protocol, uh, you will download the message from the POP3 server. So the message will download from the POP3 server and it will store on the POP3 client. In IMAP, no. Uh, a copy of the message will be downloaded from the IMAP server it will go to the RAM memory of IMAP client, so you can read it. And once you close your mail uh, client, then that's it. I mean, the message will, uh, will uh, go. Uh, and then you always have a copy of it, which is still in the IMAP server. So this is a difference between the two. So when to use POP3 uh, protocol, when to use IMAP protocol. POP3 protocol is uh, good to be used when you access your mail messages from the same computer. For example, you have a PC in your office and then you know that all your messages, you will access them, retrieve them from the mail server from using the same PC or the same laptop or whatever. So you know that all the messages will be downloaded from the mail server to the same computer. Uh, so no copy will be left on the mail server because they simply be downloaded and stored locally on the local computer. IMAP protocol on the other side is good if you think that you will be accessing your emails from different computers. So you'll be roaming across among different machines, different PCs, different computers, 
uh, you might be traveling, you might be in different places and from there you'll be accessing uh, your messages so IMAP is going to request the email message from the mail server you will get the message, your computer read it but once you close the mail clients the message will disappear, it will leave no trace on your PC because it has been downloaded only on the RAM it will not be stored on a hard disk and you will always have a copy of the message on the mail on the IMAP uh, server so the mail copy will stay there so if you want to access from another location you will uh, find it also you can access it and you can read it from wherever you are now uh, the point is that there are some modifications which have been uh, introduced to this protocol for example pop 3 it's true that you can download uh, fully download your message into your computer and store it on the hard disk but there are some tweaks which allows you to keep copy of the message on the pop 3 server for a few days or for some time that you specified uh, IMAP also, it is possible now to save copy of the message locally on your PC uh, on your PC, but you will always have a copy of the message on the mail on the mail server. However, these are the two main differences. So POP3, the full message will be downloaded stored locally and uh, normally it will be deleted from the mail server. IMAP, you will have a copy of the message which will be downloaded to your PC for reading once you close your email client then the message is gone but still you have a copy of the message left in the uh, mail uh, in the mail server and remember IMAP is a process is a we we'll, we'll use port 143 to uh, receive request pop 3 will be using pop 1 port 110 these are basically uh, the two main the two uh, protocols used to retrieve message from uh, the mail server. There are also other protocols which are proprietary. So I'm just talking here about the standard protocol. And of course, you retrieve a message without any um, without any authentication. I mean, if you need authentication or some encryption for security reason, then you have to use a secure version of these uh, protocols. So I hope this video was uh, was useful. Thank you.